I was able to get Windows 10 running on this M1 MacBook Air. As you can see right here, it's Windows 10 and I can confirm that I'm running on the M1 chip. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get it and then I'm gonna show you how well it performs. So to get Windows 10 running on your M1 MacBook is actually pretty simple. All you gotta do is go to parallels.com, linked in the description, download their newest version for the M1 Mac. And then you gotta go download the Windows Insider Preview of the Windows 10 ARM 64 edition and then you run the installer for Parallels first and that will automatically run the Windows installer after you finish and now you should have Windows 10 set up on your M1 MacBook it is gonna run perfectly without any issues I know I went through that super fast. That's actually because I have a step-by-step -step video on how you can get this. You can just go into the link below or icon above to watch that. Now let's test the performance of Windows 10 running on this M1 MacBook Air with eight gigabytes of RAM. We are using Geekbench 5 over here and it's gonna test the processor performance of single core and multi-core. Let's let this test run. As you can see, our Parallels ARM virtual machine is running at 1427 single core and 2678 multi core. These are not that impressive of stats. That's actually because we are only using two cores right now to run Windows 10. We can change that later, but we can just scroll down a little bit. I'll let you see the in depth stats if you are curious, but I'm not going to go through it. Single core, multi core, all the different tests that. Geekbench 5 did. All right, now let's compare this benchmark with some other Mac laptops and Mac machines. As you can see, our single core performance is 1427, and that's falling somewhere in between the iMac and the MacBook Air 2020 edition, all right? It's actually performing a little bit worse than the Intel version because we are running in a VM. And then the multi-core performance really is suffering and, and it is somewhere at the bottom here where it's like 2678. That is a really bad multi-core performance actually. Mac Mini 2012 edition. But we can actually improve this performance if we change some of the settings. Okay, let's check out our CPU and RAM usage real quick. So if we go to activity monitor, we can see that. So let's look at the RAM usage. As we can see right here, we have 6.19 gigabytes of memory used. And if we look at down here, a around like 2.58 gigs of swap memory is used. Look at CPU right here. CPU usage is only taking up around like 2%, it's fluctuating a little bit, 2%, 1.7%, 3.5%, you know, like it's not using a lot of CPU. Most of the usage is in RAM over here. So to improve the performance of Windows 10 running on this M1, we got to first close it and then we can go into the settings and change the processors to six core and then change the RAM usage to around like four gigabytes, all right? This will improve the multi-core performance drastically because we are now using three times the cores as previously, all right? Now we can just close this and launch Windows 10 again. It's gonna reconfigure Windows 10 for the new settings and then we can do the benchmarking again and see how it performs this time. As you can see, we are now running six processors, aka six cores, and this is probably going to have a drastic difference on the benchmark score. We'll By the way, if you have any questions about this MY Mac or Windows 10, please leave them in the comments down below, and I'll be making videos answering your questions. So here we go. Our score actually improved for both. It's 1532 for single core. Let's compare that with uh, the performance of some other Mac machines. And you can see it is very comparable to the newest generation of the MacBook Air. Now we can compare the multi-core performance of 5400 and that's landing us somewhere in between the Mac Mini 2018 edition and the Mac Pro 2010, which is pretty 10 years old, but that, that's a Mac Pro. We don't have to compare it with a Mac Pro. And if we compare that with some processor, it's like an Intel i7 right here. And then multi-core performance is somewhere 
a little bit lower on the chart, which is gonna be like the same as, let's see, um, somewhere between Intel Xeon E5 or the AMD Ryzen 7 Pro. I know a lot of you are curious, can we run Cyberpunk 2077 on Steam on this Windows 10 edition? And I did buy it, and you can see Cyberpunk is already in your library, but when I click play now, it says invalid platform. And let's just try again, invalid platform. There is no way of us downloading it and installing it on this version of Windows 10 because this is the ARM64 version and Cyberpunk is currently not available for this version of Windows. And another popular game is obviously Minecraft and let's see if Minecraft will run on this version of Windows 10. As you can see, the Minecraft installer is installing the game, but can we actually run it? That is a real question. And let's log in here and click play. So we click play and it says unexpected issue has happened. So that means Minecraft isn't optimized for this version of Windows, the ARM64 version. Click to watch the video on the screen if you want an in-depth guide on how to install Windows 10 on your M1 MacBook. This is Creators Unbox. Keep creating.